Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. This is your big homie, Jared. You're rocking with the Retro Insider YouTube channel. Thank you, all of you new and returning visitors, for checking out today's unboxing, which, as you see, made in England, New Balance, probably the only... Only the second made in uh, England New Balance we've had on the show. But if you like retro sneakers and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I think you'll like what we got coming up. But anyways, let's take a look at what we got here. Y'all seen the title and thumbnail, but let's just give a look at the box. See y'all are familiar. If I can quit fumbling with it. But anyways, here it is. The M1500 CZK in a size 12. Now, um, first 1500 for me. And I'm glad I got this shoe because it is a hot sneaker. It's been um, selling out on a lot of me major retailers' websites, including NewBalance.com and other retailers. Uh, hard to get these. They've restocked a couple times. So fortunately, if you have been checking for these, you were able to get a pair. And if I can find where you can get them, I'll put the link in the description. So, uh, yeah, here it is. A quick look around the shoe. The animal pack is what this is called. Um, this is one of two shoes. This is the brown shoe. The other one is black and white. Shoes retail for 220 here in the U.S. Think about 180 if you get them overseas. You know these uh, made in England shoes cost a little bit more, I guess, due to the um, taxes and duties and all of that. But anyways, yeah, dope, dope shoe. If I do say so myself. At first, I was on the fence. But then I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and check these out. And I'm glad I did because these shoes are fire. So let's get into the materials. Starting at the toe box, wrapping around the toe, we got that nice deep chocolate suede. And at the overlay there, we got some chocolate here. Feels like that's 3M. And then, of course, we got the nice mesh, a little bit different mesh than what I'm used to uh, finding on, you know, other new balances like the 998s and 990 v5 feels a little bit different but uh definitely good quality no doubt about it so moving up here to the midfoot area this is the star of the shoe of course we got two different animal prints leopard up here at the top i think that's what that is and then zebra down here at the bottom and it just yay it's just got that that nice joe exotic look or carol baskins look <laughs> uh i hadn't even seen this show but the names are so prevalent in social media i had to you know reference the tiger king but anyways that's what we're looking at right here got my bad i'm sorry the spider got on me but anyways um yeah so suede animal print and then the new balance logo is wrapped in white with the end actually being 3m so making our way back to the back portion of the shoe bottom portion of the uh, heel or ankle area we have leather 1500 uh, logo stitched on the side then this material here at the top ankle collar I don't know what it is could you guys let me know what that is because it's not felt it's not new book it's not neoprene it's something else but uh, yeah and then we also have the gold new balance hit and then making our way to the medial side same thing pretty much two different patterns all of that good stuff and then we, of course we have a little bit of light gray wrapping around the midsole white midsole is really nice gives this shoe just enough pop and um gum outsole which is another great feature i love shoes with uh, gum outsoles it just gives it a just kind of finished look to me in my opinion so uh yeah here it is the 1500 like i said that this is one of two the second version is black and white and um, I like it as well. Matter of fact, I think I might like it as far as being more wearable more than this shoe, even though this is still something you can pull off. Um, I know a lot of people were checking for these when I put them on Instagram. By the way, follow the Retro Insider on, on Instagram at the Retro Insider. I give you a look at these shoes first before they make it to YouTube. But uh, yeah, so um, just let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Did you? cop were you trying to cop or did you uh, miss out strike out hopefully they get a restock so more people who want these can possibly get them but yeah these are dope shoes man so um as far as the fit definitely want to let you know briefly about the fit more of a true to size with the 1500 um i've owned plenty of new balances different silhouettes this more closely fits like the 997 to me so if you're familiar with what you wear in the 997, go with that particular size, uh, possibly even a 998 size. So stay true to size. People with wide foot, you definitely 
want to stay to the size if you have a narrow foot you probably wouldn't have a problem going down a half size but most people you stay true to size you'll be good and uh you know me i kind of like to wear mine loosely laced so uh 12 work for me in that regard i could probably go down a half size too but true to size and you'll be good even if you're in between sizes so comfort wise they felt pretty good when i put my foot in them um as a matter of fact this is my first 1500 if i didn't already state that and uh, instantly i can tell that it was a nice well cushioned shoe um kind of fit in between the 577 which is kind of on the lower end of comfort uh kind of kind of in between there and the 998 997 as far as comfort now as far as best feeling filling shoe if i could if that makes sense is the 990 v5s i think these take the cake as far as comfort for me but these aren't that great but they're still kind of up there as far as comfort so people who know new balance know how good they are as far as the comfort uh not too squishy but at the same time they give you that long lasting uh feel so yeah here we have it the nine oh no the new balance 1500 czk in all of its glory so uh yeah in the comments let me know what you guys think about this shoe um i'll put up a detailed uh or first impressions post on the website and throw a link to that in the description when it's done too so um anyways thank you guys for checking out the video until next time stay humble and proceed